This morning, one family's nightmare serving as a warning to drivers everywhere. Last Thursday night, Michelle Pettiford and her 12 year old daughter returned to their home in Chicago when surveillance cameras caught two armed men, one in a mask, sprinting toward them. I think it went through my head like, is this, is this real? Is this really happening? You see them throw Michelle down, grab her purse, point their guns at her. At one point, one appearing to hit her. Her daughter ran into the house screaming. You hear about blood curdling screams. It's just something I'll never forget. Jeff Pettiford ran outside to help his wife. That's when he says one of the men put a gun to his head. Turns out they wanted one thing. I said is where are the keys? Where are the keys? And she's screaming in my purse, in my purse. They weren't leaving without a car. No. Jeff pointed them to his Audi with the key fob already inside and the men drove off. Chicago police say the carjackers haven't been caught yet. The scene marking a stunning trend. New FBI data shows while most violent crime fell last year, carjackings were up 8% from the previous year, with nearly 90% of those carjackings involving a weapon. One fatal flashpoint in D.C., where investigators say an off-duty federal security officer last month shot and killed a 13-year-old who tried to carjack him. This just weeks after a Texas congressman was carjacked near the nation's capital. I looked to the left, somebody had a gun. Uh, to the right, somebody had a gun. Back in Chicago, the Pettifords, stunned to learn the problem is so widespread, are afraid to go in their own backyard. You know, home isn't like that place of comfort and safety that it once was, which is really sad.